Well, let's imagine I am Argonian and hope the spell works. that Palmer? No. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? This one is looking for some treasure chest. Haven't seen one? Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? Very well, but hurry. A we dinner? Here? Aren't you telling me something, my friend? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. But just as we found it, the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are pleased to see someone in the flesh. So what about that chest, huh? We found it in the water down below, but we could not unlock it. So we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. You're telling we. Who is we? My siblings and I. Don't worry. We will all share in your company. Anyway, I'm still curious. What's this place, actually? We are not sure. A lonely tower sitting all by itself in a forgotten pocket of the earth. It is strange, is it not? No offense, but you sound a bit strange. How long have you been down here? So curious this one is. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom. And whatever else we can scrounge up. Good, good. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat. Well, my friend, after this little talk, I must say you're obviously planning to eat me. Try it, I dare you. <laughs> it is wise not to trust us, but the wise ones taste just the same as the foolish. It walks into our Thank you. 
I'm sorry, but no one will help you, filthy cannibal. Damn, where is the last one? Ha, <laughs> found you. Get over here. A lonely tower, you say? Oh, Dooley, you should kick all who said you are mad. There is a treasure indeed, and it is much more pricey than any gem. Well, if this letter was hidden so far from the city, there should be something interesting in it. Metellus, you treacherous bastard. I felt this from the very beginning. You fought and intimidated so many people, mostly nice people. How many of them you killed already? And how you passed the dwarf's law? You will pay for this, trust me.
Oh. Hello again, Dooley. Yes, what about... You was right. All this time, I found your brother's chest. You did? What was in it? Well, no gems. Sorry for this. There was a warning to not trust the Jarl and the key to his locked room. A key? Harrowfoot left me a key. I'm confused. It was supposed to be something valuable. But it's just a key. What do we do with the key? Well, you know, at least I'm going to see what's inside this locked room. Oh, all right. Maybe there's a treasure in there. A big pile of gold coins and gemstones. Maybe you could even share some of it with me. Oh, my friend. I'm not sure if I will find treasure there. But in the end, I will try to share something better with you. Your freedom. Freedom from the Jarl and this stupid law. Wait a second. I think I have not been in this house before. How this cave system is still unrevealed by people. Hmm, I don't like it. that object what is this it is something outside the city for sure what can it be What's that? It's huge! Come on, girl, take it down! Love, Orin. If it is necklace belongs to Macy, that means that body is... Ah. Oh.
Oh, and how should I tell him? <sighs> You're the one who killed all those bandits, aren't you? Gods, what a nightmare that must have been. What do you want with me? Can I help you with something? Hey, Oren. How are you? I don't see why I should share it with you. <sighs> As you say, is this your wife necklace? Yes, it is. Where did you find it? <sighs> I'm sorry, Oren, but... It seems I have bad news. A skeever? You mean, she's... She's dead? Oh, gods. She's dead, isn't she? I need to see her. One last time. Can you There's show me where she is? There's not much left to see. It is not the best idea. Oh, yes. Of course. Maybe it's best if I don't. I don't know if I have the stomach for it. Oh, God. All this time. Please, at least tell me how she died. Do you think the skeever killed her, or... Or did it get to her after she was already dead? Well... There is no way of knowing, actually. No way of knowing? Gods, this is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I... I think I need to be alone now. I don't see why I should share it with you. Will there be an end to these tragic storylines? But, after all, what forced her to run to this ruins end? This looks so unnatural and why have so bad feeling about this room? I need to check it. Not here. He can hear us. Get away from me, peasant. I don't want anyone seeing us together. Hey, I saw that. Look at me. Do you think I don't know this when you check someone out? I thought we were done talking. Well, I will just open it and enter, like nothing happened. What? What is going on here? Hey! Hey! Are you still alive? Oh God, not again! Please don't hurt me! I'm not going to hurt you, don't worry. Thank the gods! Quickly, you have to let me down before that monster comes back. I... I'm sorry, but I have a few questions before. Okay, but please hurry. You... you are Maisie, right? I'm Maisie. I lived down in the city with my husband, Ulrin, until a few months ago when that animal, Metallus, tricked me into coming here. He keeps me here as a... Oh, gods, I can't. 
You have to let me down, please. I've never done anything to deserve this. What he... Uh, what he did to you? Isn't this against the dwarf's law? Of course it is. But I think the dwarves are blind to whatever happens in this room. You can see the dwarven bust over there got broken somehow. I actually thought you were dead. I found your necklace in the underground tunnels. That sounds like the sort of thing Metallus would do. Make it look like I was dead so Ulrun would stop looking for me. That bastard! If I let you go, what you will do next? I'm going to kill that monster who calls himself Jarl. I'll scratch out his eyes with my bare hands if I have to. So, you'll let Listen, me go then? Listen, Maisie, I'm... I'm really sorry, but I can't let you down for now. What? Why not? If it gets out that Metellus has broken the Dwarf's Law, we're all going to die. So you're just gonna leave me here? I... I'll have to look for another way to save you. What? No, that's not... I... Please don't leave me here. Please. I'll do anything. Please don't leave me. You're... You're gonna let me go, right? still alive, Maisie, as well as your husband and all people here. I find a way to get you out of here and to stop this madness. I promise you. Sure, there is no sense even to try to speak with this monster, and I can't kill him for now. There must be a way. I need to find whoever made this damn law and have a nice talk with him. But for this. Well, I'm still not dead. Let's step down carefully. What's that? Yes, there can be no mistake. That shining, it is a helmet from that set. Bye. 
But it seems that deadly energy is starting to appear down the way. Uh, I still can go there. I need the armor. Come on, Rikers. Where are you? Just to get out from this hell, I need to destroy it. All that people here, they deserve much better fate. I'm... I'm so sorry, Rikas. I will end the Dwarf's Law, even if I will be the one who break it.
I... I'm not dead. Yes, Brawl was right. A paradox. So, I'm here again. I need to finish this. You there? Where did you come from? You know, we had this conversation before. What are you talking about? I've never met you. Yes, we met. You're going to offer me to escort me to see the Jarl Metellus. I... Uh, you're right. I was. How could you have possibly <sighs> known that? Well, I'm just a time traveler. Now, if you excuse me, is that some kind of sorcerer? Uh, well, I don't want any trouble. Uh, let me get out of your way. Uh, let's forget this happened, shall we? Exactly the same. Bye. Ah, newcomer. You should head on up to the Citadel. Make yourself known to the York. Uh, no, I will not 
much of a talk with you, scum. Oh, I remember the first time I met the Jarl. I was so nervous. Time to end this madness. And I'm still alive. What? Ugh. Get out of my way. Someone whose only presence created so many magic anomalies. What level of power he is. That roof I saw when standing there in tunnels. Whatever is inside, it is not worse than seeing same people dying again and again, and definitely not worse that the Jarl 
who imprisons his own citizens as sex slaves. <sighs> Let's go. Just a man. Who are you? Ah, uh, and here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dova King. Dova, what? How did you call me? Ah, uh, I see you have not yet discovered your true nature. It seems I know you better than you know yourself. You... you know who I am? Of course. To me, your memories are an open tome. To begin with, I know you have trespassed countless times against others of your kind. Well, heh, <laughs> lucky guess. And I know you have dabbled in petty thievery, stealing the meager possessions of your own kind. Is that all? I know you have slaughtered countless beasts of the wild in their natural habitats. Uh, who's I am arguing with? Alright, you got me. I also know you have come from the future. And why is that? Is your desire for power so great that you would break even the laws of time for it? It makes no difference. You will not take it from me. You would not be so foolish as to break my law. Do you mean the dwarf's law? I mean my law. I made it. Because your kind would be incapable of order or peace without it. So that would make you an... That makes me the Arbiter. I am also the Founder. I discovered this site millennia ago and the deposit of Ethereum beneath us. I laid the foundations and I watched my children grow learn and use the Ethereum to create marvels, technological wonders. But they grew quarrelsome and used their knowledge to create weapons to use against their own kind and worse, their own father. So I confiscated their weapons and declared my law that each and every one of my children would live in perfect order, or they would not live at all. And here I am, millennia later, still waiting for children worthy of this city. And for my patience, it seems my reward is a visit from you, Dovahkiin. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? It is time to put an end to your law. Your words are tainted by your sins, Dovahkiin. Yet, I acknowledge your heroic deeds too, Slayer of the Treacherous and Carnal. Very well. I will listen. The same like you, I tried to fix what I did not understand and only make it worse. Choose your next words carefully, Dovahkiin. What is it that you made worse?
I tried to prevent a breach on that fourth floor, but in the end, I was the breach. You admit to breaking my law in the future. At least this explains why you traveled back in time. I was so focused on my goal that I did not see the bigger picture, just like you. I warn you, tread carefully. You have become so fixated on peace and order that you have committed genocide. Everything I have done here, everything I have done, has been... has been... I... I... It is... it is still not too late to end this. Please. I... No. I will not be talked into abandoning millennia of work by the likes of you. I think it is time I silenced you once and for all. You are the Arbiter, the Creator. How can be you so blind? Did I... Did I just kill him? But... But what to do now? Arbiter, how can you be such an egoist? Who will stop the divorce law once again, now when you are dead? Dead... Wait... Wait, that's it! Faster! Faster!
Where did you come from? Well, I don't want to talk. At least go and see your... I'm sorry, Galvar. I don't have time for this now. I... I just can't see it even one more time. I hope... I hope my guess is correct. Don't have time for you. Hello again, Arbiter. Ah, ah, I see you have not yet did. Of course, to me, your memories are an open tome. To begin with, I know you have trespassed countless times against others of your kind. And what's this? I see there is a helmet in your possession that does not belong to you. It's... Yes, Arbiter. It is your helmet. I'm going to take it from your body after I kill you. You kill me? That is not possible. And yet, I see you speak the truth. You have come unstuck. From your own time, your presence here is unnatural. Well then, Dovahkiin, why have you returned with this grim trophy? Have you come simply to gloat of your foul deed? I want you to finally put a stop to the divorce law. That's 
That's it? So you will stop all this? I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to live how they choose, in whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves. I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it, and you may all return to the world of men, should you wish. But I warn you, Dova King, making these changes will create a paradox in time. The events that brought you here will never have taken place. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? I was ready from the beginning. Goodbye, Dovakin. Is it... is it over? Where am I? Hey! You started me there. Wait. I know you. Oh... Uh, you do? You're... No, that can't be right. For a moment there I thought you were... You know, the one the statue was meant to honor. Wait! I know you! You are Atreus, right? Your sister asked me to find you. Cassia! Oh, I completely forgot! I asked her to wait for me at the top of the lift and... I guess I got so tied up in this place that I lost track of time. I'd better head back up and let her know I'm alright. Hey, um... Do you want to come with me? We can chat a little bit. Alright. Lead the way. Great. Follow me. Let's run back up, shall But we? first of all, want to keep my is that home. true? So, a statue in my here. honor? I guess it's Wait, what? does you that mean it. all are still alive? I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city. And the history of this place is amazing. Did you know that up until about seven years ago, they had what they called the Dwarves' Law. Apparently, there were inscriptions warning that if one person committed a crime, everyone else would pay. Probably wondering what I've been doing down here. I guess it's been, what, a few days? I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city, and the history of this place is amazing. Did you know that up until about seven years ago, they had what they Yeah, is there something you want? Wait, Hermund, how are you? So, you heard about that, did you? Well, I went back to my car for a bit, but there's no there for me. So I wound up back here, still getting used to the new yard. But Gulverson all right, so got everybody working now, which is fair. At least they get a good night's sleep. Not that the battle won't stop you see the ruins. A few people saw him walk into this quarry, into a field of deadly radiation, like it was nothing, like it hadn't killed people before him. And then the ground started shaking, and golden statues were collapsing, and inscriptions were crumbling all over the city, all at the same time, with the sun under the ground which used to light up the entire cavern, bursts into flame and explodes. And strangest of all, the cavern roof opens up like the petals of a flower, and there's real sunlight for the first time in thousands of years. So of course, people start wondering, did he just walk down here and single-handedly dismantle whatever was keeping the dwarves' law going? Hey, I recognize Wait. you. Wait. You're the one who came <laughs> this place seven years Look ago. Look who's here. Hey, dog, Dommy, you big guy, 
Why your white hands are working here in mines? Came here to gloat, did you? Well, go on. Look at me. Working the mines like a peasant. And did you hear Safira left me at the first chance she got? Is that what you wanted to hear? Are you happy now? Get lost, you sicken me. <laughs> As you say, big guy. How are you? I've been well, thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I went back to Solitude to rejoin the Imperial Legion not long after the city opened up. Believe it or not, I completed three tours of duty, but then I took an arrow to the... Well, to cut a long story short, they made me retire. So I came back here. Best city in all of Skyrim, if you ask me. Now that bloody Dwarf's Law is gone. You deserve a medal for what you did. But this'll have to do. Here, take this. A small token of my appreciation. You'll always be welcome here. Present Whitus. Thank you. Well, it was After only a few minutes time. for me, but I'm happy to see you too, Galwar. How are you? Can't complain, my friend. You know, not long after they executed Metallus, turns out he was behind Macy's disappearance. They made me Jarl. It was a bit of a shock, to be honest. But I guess they wanted someone who wasn't at all like Metellus. Jarl Galvar. Still sounds strange to me. And I guess I have you to thank for it. If you hadn't freed us from the dwarves' laws, Uldren could never have overthrown Metellus. So, thanks. I imagine you'll be moving on soon, but you'll always be welcome here. We even kept your chambers exactly as you left them. Need some? Yes. I still can't believe my eyes. A real sky. And they executed that bastard. And the Dwarf's Law. There is no more Dwarf's Law. I... I did it. Wait. <laughs> Rikas! You... you alive, I mean... How are you, friend? Better. Now that I know I'm not being watched anymore. Still, someone has to protect this place. And that someone is me. So you might have taken down some old dwarves or whatever. But if you start any trouble here, you're going to find yourself toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Have we met? 
Hi there. How are you, Lucky? Better, thank you. You know, all that time I was looking after Brandis, I remember him telling me about the ancient evil under the earth. I really thought he was mad, but I guess he was right after all. Well, I'm glad you were able to finish what he started, whatever you did down there. So, on behalf of Brandis and Leandris, thank you. I like to think their souls are at rest now. Daughter, how are you? I've been great. I mean, my father was overthrown not long after that, when Ulrin discovered he was keeping Macy chained up in his locked room. Ulrin dragged him down to the city and executed him in front of everyone. Horrible business. But now I'm free to wander Skyrim as I please. Of course, I don't, because it's just awful out there. Nords everywhere. I prefer it down here. Hey! I know who you are. It's wonderful to see you again. Hey, is that armor what I think it is? You're Miranda, right? Oh, you wouldn't believe what a difference it's made. Habik and I finally felt safe enough to have another son. His name's Malik and he's six. <laughs> he's just discovered his love for running. And fortunately, running isn't something Habik and I have to do anymore. We're safe here. I have no idea what you did to bring an end to the Dwarves Law. But whatever it was, thank you so much. We'll never forget you. Well, you're welcome. Now, I promised you a reward. This is something I always carry with me, and it's become very dear to me. I'd like you to have it. Thanks again. My brother and I are in your debt. The City of Fireflies. Well, it's great. It's you. 
I didn't think we'd see hey, you again. Hey, how are you? Tell me. I'm getting older, I'm afraid, but Mara watches over me. Which reminds me, did I ever tell you about the oh, light well, of the goddess Mara? Oh, well, you know, Mara? I just remembered I have an urgent business in... in Riverwood. Yes, of course, dear. Don't worry, I get that reaction a lot. Perhaps I'll see you later. Habik, I saw your son. I... Much better than congratulations. Much better, thanks. This place has really turned around. Miranda and I were finally able to have another son. He's probably around here, somewhere. And now that the city has opened up, we have a bit of trade. So the store is doing much better too. And if you really are who I think you are, then I have to thank you for it. So, thank you. You did a great thing. For all of us. Only the finest clothes in town. See you again soon, I hope. Oh, it's hey, you. Vernon. I didn't think we'd How have you been again. since the divorce law lifted? better. And thank you for whatever you did down there under the city. You know what? I don't even want to know. Everyone's a bit more relaxed, including poor Orikus. He and I are... well, we're seeing each other. Turns out he's a beautiful man once you get to know him. You know, well, it's great to see you again. I know you'll be off on your next adventure soon. Still, you'll always be welcome here, my friend. Come back soon! It is... Yeah! Hey, Dooley! Oh, hello. Do you like my bed sheet? Your glasses are great. Great, Dooley. How are you? You mean, after the sky opened up, and the old Yarl died, and we got a new Yarl. Yarl Gulda is dying. He gave me a house, and I need new clothes. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, hello. Do you like my fancy new clothes? I'm... I'm happy for you, Dooley. You deserve this.
Rustation, oh, nice to see you. Hello again. How are you? I've been great, especially after that Pigmatellus got what was coming to him. Did you hear Ulrin and Maisie left together not long afterwards? Can't say I blame them. If I were Maisie locked up in the Jarl's secret prison like that, I'd be wanting to get far away from here too. And Marius, that creepy Imperial, turned out to be a member of the Dark Brotherhood named Quintus. But he slithered away without causing any trouble. Other than that, we're all a little older and wiser. But you? You don't look like you've aged a day in the last seven years. You must tell me your secret over a mug of fine well, moonshine. Well, thank today. you for the fresh news, as always. See you. Oh, so soon? Well, you know where to find me, honey. Welcome back. Ismar? You've been gone a long Ismar, time. Ismar, that's you. Huh. Well, let's see. That was seven years ago? A lot has changed since then. For the better. I'm married to Gulvar now. S sorry. That's Jarl Gulvar. He still talks about you. And how he saw you come out of the old Jarl's lake house. You gave him a real fright. Though he wouldn't have showed it. I know he'd be happy to see you again. You should go and say hello, if you haven't already. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Best offense is a good defense, am I right? Yeah, after all this, five minutes. Anyway, nice to see you too. Great. Brawl and I are still working together toward a better understanding of the dwarves. But personally, I think the greatest mystery in this place is you. I mean, you shot seven years ago out of the lake house and charged down into the tunnels like a knight in shining armor. Then, the city transforms around us and you're just... gone. So I have to ask, where have you been all this time? Well, I actually traveled forward in time by seven years, but it's a long story. You're a time traveler? Incredible! I suppose that explains your sudden appearance as well. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. I have to write all this down. Now, where did I leave my research note? Hi there. 
I'm a little busy, but... Hey, Zasel Skumachev. How are you, huh? Better. Mostly. Problem is, I know I can get Skuma now, so I have to keep myself from heading up to the surface. But life's better in the Citadel without that old bastard, Metellus. I get to make food for the whole city now, so nobody's going hungry anymore. This place now is so peaceful. What a strange day. Oh, three days? Seven years? Ah, whatever. Forgotten city. No, no, no. I like the city of fireflies much, much more. This place is now my personal forget-me-not. And something is telling me I will rest here many times.